I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find value of powers of i which is a pure imaginary number. So we will try to figure out what is i to the power of n where n belongs to set of natural numbers. Uh, so let's take a few examples. For example, we will try to find what is i to the power of let's say 10. We could find i to the power of uh, let's say 23 something like this right or i to the power of uh, let's say 75 so it's different numbers how do we find these powers that is the exercise which we are going to do in this particular video so to begin with let's start with the uh, i to the power of 0 anything to the power of 0 is 1 correct anything to the power of 0 is 1 i to the power of 0 is also 1 how about i to the power of 1? Anything to the power of 1 is the number itself, which is imaginary number i in this case. And i to the power of 2? i square, you know, is minus 1, correct? i square is minus 1, that's the definition. How about i cube? i cube should be i square times i, right? So this should be i square times i. And we know both i is i and i squared is minus 1. So we can write this as minus i. What is i to the power of 4? i to the power of 4 is i cubed times i, right? i cubed times i, which is i is, or we could say i to the power of 4 is i square square, either way, right? So so let's say i square square and that is minus 1 square and that gives me 1. So either way you could work it out. You could also say i to the power of 4 is, let's rewrite here, i to the power of 4 is uh, i cube times i. i cube we worked out as minus i. So minus i times i. That gives us minus i square or minus of minus 1 equals to 1. So either way it gets to 1. So what we found was that i to the power of 4 is indeed 1. How about i to the power of 5? i to the power of 5 will be 1 times i which will give us i. So what you see here is that the pattern repeats i to the power of 0 is 1, to the power of 1 is i, to the power of 2 is minus 1, to the power of 3 is minus i, and to the power of 4 is again 1. Right? So what we notice here is that i to the power of 0 to 3 is the numbers we can say. So, so let's say, let me make it on the argon diagram so that you can remember. So this is only for you to somehow remember what we are trying to do. So, so let's say this is i to the power of 0, right? Which is 1, correct? This is what? i to the power of 1. And this is i to the power of 2. And that is i cube. Correct? So i cube is minus i. Do you see that? Minus i. So what we notice here is, and i to the power of 4, let's go to the next circle, i to the power of 4 is again 1, i to the power of 5 will be i, i to the power of 6 will be this, and i to the power of 7. 8 will come back to this. So every time you multiply by i, we are moving counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Do you see that? That is the pattern. Now based on this pattern, since we know that after every four values it repeats and the pattern is if we have 0, 1, 2 or 3 as powers of these are the values of n let me write here let me write here n right that is i to the power of n in that case the corresponding values which we get are what? 
let's write down so so we get i to the power of n as for 0 it is 1 then it is i this minus 1 and then it is minus i so that is what you get so this is the pattern which we have seen here now based on this pattern let's find uh, the solution of some of these exponents so let's calculate what should be i to the power of 10 now i to the power of 10 could be written as i to the power of when I divide 10 by 4 what remainder do I get because these are four values I get remainder 2 so I could write this as 4 times 2 plus 2 do you see that 4 times 2 plus 2 that is I this is same as 1 right anything to the power of 4 is 1 so the first part is 1 I could write this as i to the power of because that is as good as i to the power of 0 right times i square so it gives me minus 1 is as my result i to the power of 23 will be what effectively this will be same as if I divide 23 by 4 if I divide 23 by 4 what do I get I get 4 times 5 right so I get 5 remainder 3 so this is the same as I cube and I cube is equal to minus I do you see that minus I. so in general we also have a function which is called mod 4 so we could use n mod 4 to find the value right so if I replace that exponent by mod 4 function I can always get the answer so so I hope some of you must have got this now, you understand mod 4 you could do that otherwise you divide your number by 4 and whatever is the remainder that gives you the value so let me do a few more examples let us say i to the power of 75 so if i divide 75 by 4 so divide 75 so what we do is we will divide 75 by 4 4 times 1 is 4 right so we get 35 4 times 8 is 32 remainder is 3 remainder is 3 therefore we could write this i to the power of 75 same as i to the power of 3 and i to the power of 3 gives me the value as minus i do you see that so that is how we could calculate so we found that i to the power of 75 should be minus i i to the power of 23 should be in this case that is also minus i i to the power of 10 we found this as i to the power of 2 which is minus 1 correct so likewise we could find any power of i from these four it is one of these four values correct or you could just count so if i say what is i to the power of 17 you can say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 this is equals to i you could count and get to the value so what we learned here is three different ways that you could find i to the power of n one is use mod 4 function the second one is you write this as you just divide and find the remainder divide by 4 to find the remainder so i to the power of n will be equals to the remainder or in the coordinate plane you can just count as i showed right 0 1 2 3 4 5 that means i to the power of 5 is i i to the power of 6 is minus 1 right so likewise get the value so i hope this explains you how to calculate the powers of i so the question for you is find these find or evaluate uh, i to the power of let's say 35 
i to the power of 40 i to the power of 52 correct so try to find these values correct use the strategy which you've learned here i hope that helps feel free to post your comments share views and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best